that there's no evidence of uh, problem underneath the uh, limb due to either the engine exhaust or a drainage of any kind. Roger up. It's very surprising, the uh, very surprising lack of penetration of all four of the foot pads. I'd say if we were to uh, try and determine just how far below the surface uh, they would have penetrated, you'd measure in uh, for three inches, would you say, Neil? At the most, yeah. That uh, fly strut there is probably even less than that. checks of the uh, limb. They don't make just one check. They are, uh, ex make frequent examinations of those limb struts uh, just to make sure that they're not sinking slowly. And they're not. This one picture taken up. Uh, it's our uh, right rear of the spacecraft looking at the uh, skirt of the descent stage. So, uh, slight darkening of the surface color, uh, a rather minimal amount of uh, uh, radiating uh, or etching away or erosion of the surface. And now uh, on descent, uh, both of us remarked that we could see a large amount of uh, very fine uh, dust particles moving out. reported beforehand that uh, we would probably see an outgassing from the surface after um, actual engine shutdown, but uh, if I recall, uh, I was unable to verify that. This description of the lunar module from astronaut Edwin Aldrin, the men will be on the moon for about 22 hours according to the flight plan but they will be walking about on the surface for just a little over well actually less than two hours and a half presumably the rest period that they skipped in order to make this early eva presumably i say because we've certainly heard no confirmation or mention of the subject will be added to the four hour rest period that is scheduled following eva Take an angle, Neil. Yep. I think you're right. Both men now taking a close look at the lunar module, both out of camera range, off to the left of the picture. Again, the lunar landscape in a general shadow. The sun barely over the horizon, over the lunar horizon. A portion of the limb uh, brilliantly lighted, but most of it in shadow. Commander Armstrong is now photographing uh, all parts of the limb. And uh, he has this close-up camera we started talking about a while ago that he took off of the uh, Mesa. And it's a stereo camera that he can use, and he'll take uh, pictures of uh, the exact like impression. The, uh, minus these, but now, stereo pair we're taking to the head will take uh, very little uh, force of impact that we actually have. I get the impression these men are very much impressed by the uh, firmness of the uh, terrain beneath the limb and beneath the area in which they're walking. And Neil, if 
you take the camera, I'll uh, okay. to work on the uh, SEQ bay. Okay. Columbia, Columbia, this is uh, Houston. I noticed it. Columbia, uh, Columbia, this is Houston. Go ahead, bud. Okay. Can I get some close-up pictures of that rock? I was saying that uh, Houston to uh, stop and take a photograph of something and then want to start moving again sideways. Quite a tendency to start doing it with uh, just gradual uh, sideways hops because you start getting better. Roger. Can you see us underneath the uh, Slam over at the uh, SEQ Bay, Houston. Yes, indeed, Buzz. We can see your feet sticking out uh, okay. underneath the structure of the LAM descent stage. Okay, I'm just on the other side of the... Uh... And now we can see you through the structure of the minus Z secondary strut. The SEQ Bay contains the uh, scientific experiments to be left on the surface of the moon. The laser reflector. They're open, and it looks like they're going to stay up without any problem. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. We're about to lose you on the Omnis. Request high gain antenna. React mode. Pitch two zero. Yaw one three five. Over. Pick an area, Neil. Make that yaw 175, Columbia, yaw 175 on the high gain. Columbia's locked up on the high gain, Houston. Roger out. A few men looking over their lunar module now, moving about in clear picture range. As they move around to the sunny side of the limb, I thought you were going to say speak. The sun, <laughs> they've got the whole boulevard here, I'll tell you. No traffic jam where they are. The surgeon says everything looks fine. The men have been on their portable life support systems now for almost two hours. Dr. Charles Berry, flight surgeon, reported a few moments ago that everything looks good. So Armstrong and Aldrin are making the most of it and are continuing their activities outside the lunar module walking about an hour and a half of lunar surface time for Neil Armstrong. At this time, astronaut Aldrin has opened uh, the equipment bay door and he's removing two the two scientific experiments we've been talking about that will be left behind on the moon. Uh, one checks and reports to Earth the lunar seismic activity. The other experiment provides a reflector target for laser beams measuring precise Earth-Moon distance. Yes, the uh, passive seismometer has been deployed manually. Roger. been on the portable life support systems for two hours now. Aldrin will carry out these experiments to their location, which will be about 70 feet from the limb. Where they'll begin setting them up. The first one he'll set up will be the passive seismic experiment. And the manual uh, deployment of the uh, LR cubed uh, little spring that's at the end of the string pulled off of the uh, pit pit. However, I was able to reach up and get hold of the pit pit and pull it loose. So uh, it'll be deployed manually also. Roger.
And the panorama is complete. And uh, limb, uh, about the limb, 7 and 730 position at uh, about 60 feet. Neil Armstrong to the left of the screen. By that. Doors are closed and locked. Order. Okay. 